How's it going, Tiny Little Hot Dog Cuties? Ben here, and today we're going to be talking about how you, yes, you, can basically impact how healthcare is going to be going for the next 10 years. And before we get started with this video, I also want to shout out the fact that I am still collecting donations for my top surgery fund. We're almost halfway there, guys, halfway there. If we get to my target goal, I won't have to make any out-of-pocket costs for my top surgery and you guys know I've been this is something I've been wanting for years and it's been something that's been affecting my mental health for almost since childhood so if you guys contribute or share or just make it known to other people that I am collecting donations to my GoFundMe page for top surgery it means a lot to me thank you guys so much for listening to this I'm making this video because I really want to emphasize that the census that is coming up like literally this month is very, very important, not just for politicians and not just for political data and how much money is going into, you know, political systems, but also for healthcare providers and public health researchers. And I want to emphasize that everyone who gets the census form should fill out the census form. And a really good thing about the census is that it's not going to be asking about your citizenship status. So you should not feel uncomfortable filling out the census regardless of your immigration status. It's super, super important that you fill out this census for healthcare providers specifically. And I'm going to be sharing with you guys why. The first reason why the census is so, so important to healthcare providers and public health researchers is that it gives us very, very important demographic data based on geography, based on race, based on age. It gives us so, so much data that we can use for healthcare research. It allows us to pinpoint population demographics to certain diseases and conditions, how we can make care better for those demographics. And it's a pretty, it's pretty much a no brainer, but a lot of HIV research, a lot of hy hypertension, which is high blood pressure, diabetes research comes from census data and actually a lot of the research that I did that I published on transgender care came from census and census data and that's super 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 important. It also helps medical providers and public health researchers such as myself understand social determinants of health. We're able to see which parts of the country, which parts of counties on certain states need more attention to what we are providing as providers. Does this county need more providers or does this other county need more providers? It helps us navigate healthcare and it helps us figure out where do we need to send our physicians, where do we need to send our nurses, where do we need to recruit more physicians to go so that every single person has an equal chance being cared for by a medical provider. Another huge thing is public service and research grants. Based on the data you give to the census, the more information we get, the more we know where money needs to go in the healthcare sector. The more people report their demographics to the census, the more we know, yes, money needs to go to this hospital, money needs to go to this system providing this sort of care for this group of people, such as grants that go to Ryan White Clinics, positive impact centers that help people who are recovering and or suffering from HIV or pre-exposure prophylaxis, which are preventative measures for people who are having sex from increasing the risk of them getting HIV infected or other types of STDs. It also helps us understand what kind of diabetic programs or addiction programs we should funnel our money to. It's super, super important for healthcare providers to have that information so that we can get those grants and we can use those funds from those grants to bring it back to the people and help those people and help people suffering from addiction, help people suffering from diabetes, helping people who are pregnant, helping pregnant mothers have prenatal and postnatal care. All of these things are super, super important for healthcare providers if you provide the data in the census. And of course, everybody knows about Medicaid. Medicaid is super important and it helps thousands, of, maybe even millions of citizens in the United States get affordable health care and get free health care because of the demographic data that we have and the government sends money to Medicaid. Without census data, we will have no idea how much money we need to put into Medicaid. So it allows doctors to give free care to a lot of people that need it. And lastly, I really, really want to emphasize this because a lot of people who are healthy don't 
think of things like the census to be that important, but really, really think about our disabled individuals living in our country. The census gathers data on disabled people and people that are healthy. The more information we get from people suffering from disabilities, there's a lot of invisible illnesses that need to be accounted for in the census and it's really important that you, if you do have a disability, document it into the census because it allows us to get so much more money into helping people that are disabled, not just you as an individual, but many, many people who actually need that help. So if you're wondering, Ben, are you going to fill out the census? I absolutely am going to be filling out the census. One, because not only does the census give us information about layman people, but also it gives us information on how many healthcare providers are there serving the people. Because if there's not enough, we need more and it'll push residency programs to have more spots. It'll push, it'll push the medical boards to create new residency programs if we need it on new specialties, new spots for pet specialties. So it's incredibly important for even medical students and healthcare providers to fill out the census about their occupation. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Please donate to my top surgery fund. If you can't, I really appreciate it if you share it. Be sure to like, subscribe, share this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Mwah. This is Ben.